Okay. Um, so up next, because time is short, um, I'm going to call on Wilma, who's going to give us a Sakai community update on what's been going on out there in the Sakai community. So Wilma, you are up. All right. Thank you, Martin. Um, and I just want to say real quick, I know that the contrast is horrible on this uh, lightning round slide. Apparently, there's, there should be a gradient behind those letters that makes them more legible. Um, but it looks like the gradient didn't translate into the PDF upload very well. So I will fix that for the next two um, lightning rounds. But I just I couldn't let it pass <laughs> without commenting. Um, all right. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, so you can see my community update slides. So um, I'm Wilma Hodges. I'm the Sakai Community Manager um, for Perio, and I'm also the Director of Training and E-Learning at Longsight. Um, I know many of you, but those of you who I don't know, um, hopefully you'll uh, get to know me a little bit throughout the day today because I'll be on the on the big blue button quite a bit. <laughs> So let me just take you through a few highlights um, from the Sakai community. So one thing is coming up soon is our Sakai PMC elections. So uh, we were actually going to hold elections in November, but time got away from us a little bit. So our next election cycle will start next month in December, and we should have the results uh, ready to announce to the community in the January, February timeframe. Um, we're looking for nominations for Sakai PMC men members, and that's the Project Management Committee members. Um, and those tend to be community members that are very active um, in Sakai development or in Sakai working groups, um, people that are really involved in the day-to-day -day, um, of Sakai. And anyone can be nominated. You can nominate yourself if you like. Um, all of those nominations come into the PMC, and then the PMC exists existing uh, members vote uh, to elect new folks to the PMC. Um, now, as far as officers for PMC, we have a chair and a vice chair. We recently this year redid our, our governance a little bit to kind of modernize it. We, we decided to go to a rotating um, cycle where each year we get a new chair. So. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be electing our vice chair and the vice chair kind of serves as sort of a, a chair in in training for a year and then at the end of their one year term the vice chair becomes the chair and we elect a new vice chair so we're never really electing a chair we're always electing a vice chair but that person cycles into the um, the chair role and again, those the those two um, roles are from the existing Sakai PMC members. Those are the folks that can be nominated for that. So we're going to do those two sets of elections, and we're actually going to use a new voting app to do it this time. Um, in the past, we've done it just via email, which was fine, but we decided to try a new um, election uh, application that uh, Perio used for some of the board elections. So we're going to try that out this uh, December. Um, so be on the lookout for announcements about nominations when we open nominations, because um, they'll probably be like some sort of a form or something that you can fill out to be able to nominate others or yourself to PMC or for the vice chair uh, role. We also have our Sakai PMC quarterly meeting, which is also open to anyone in the community. Everyone's welcome to attend. Um, it's gonna take place on December 13th during the time that the Sakai core call usually meets. So Sakai core call usually meets um, from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern time um, in Big Blue Button. Um, in room four. So the core call meets weekly, but for the 13th, we're going to kind of take over um, the core call for the PMC meeting because we know that a lot of the folks who attend the core call are on the PMC and it's easier to book their calendars to just kind of take over an existing slot. So if you're available and you would like to attend, please feel free. Um, we usually talk about um, you know, things like budget updates and elections and any other community topics that people would like to talk about. Um, I mean, we circulate the agenda ahead of time if there's anything that people want to put on the agenda. So feel free to attend that. 
And um, speaking of being active in the community and um, some of these other working groups, I'd just like to highlight some of the active working groups that we do have in our community. There are quite a lot of them, and there may be a few more that aren't on here that I didn't have um, the you know meeting details for. I think there's at least one more, the, the PWA group meets, but I wasn't sure what time. Um, but anyway, all of these groups meet regularly. So we've got JIRA triage that meets on Mondays um, every week from two to three to go through new tickets and, and to triage them. Um, we've got accessibility that meets on Mondays every two weeks um, in the afternoon to look at accessibility issues. We have the core team, which is kind of the core team of, of developers that go through PRs. And we also do updates from the other working groups that happens on Tuesday mornings. Um, on Wednesdays, on the second and fourth Wednesday of the month, there's developer office hours. So if you have questions for Earl or other um, Sakai developers, that's a great place to go to ask those te technical questions. Um, there's a UI technical meeting on Thursday mornings at 9.30 a.m. That's where a lot of the work on Trinity happens. Um, so there's that meeting that you can also attend. Uh, QA planning happens on Thursday evenings at 5.30. So that's kind of planning the, the, the game plan for, um, for doing the QA uh, review. And then QA test fest, where people are actually testing all at the same time, happens on Friday mornings every week from 10 to 11. Um, the Sakai Marketing Group meets at 10 a.m. every two weeks. That's a new time. We've only met at 10 a.m. for a couple of meetings. So um, if you had attended in the past, it has moved to a new time. And then finally, our teaching and learning group has merged with our UX group. This is brand new. Um, teaching and learning and UX used to meet separately, but on the same Wednesdays, the first and third Wednesdays, but at two different times. What we've done is consolidate the two because there's quite a bit of overlap. And, um, and so now both groups meet at 11 um, on the first and third Wednesdays. So again, if you're interested in any of these topics, you're very welcome to attend any of these community meetings and you can be as active as you like, or you can just kind of lurk whatever your comfort level is, um, but just know that, uh, that we welcome new participants. So a quick look at some of our releases. Um, Sakai 22 is the current release. It is available now. And we are targeting the end of this month, the end of November, for a 22.2 maintenance release. So um, this graphic, I know the text is a little small here. It's more of a visual than anything else, but this just kind of gives you an idea. This is from Jira, that it kind of groups um, some of the different changes by component or by tool. Um, so you can see where a lot of the different changes went in. So you can see there was a whole lot of stuff that went into assignments and some stuff in the grader, tests and quizzes. So all these um, different colors just represent different tools that got um, improvements in 22. Sakai 23 is our upcoming release and the branch was just cut. It's hot off the presses. It was just cut last Friday, so November 11th was cut, and we are targeting um, quarter two because the branch was a little bit delayed because there was some good stuff that we wanted to get in there. So uh, realistically, we're, we're targeting um, Q2 for our release of the .o version of 23. So that'll be like, you know, spring, summer of, of next year, early spring, early summer, hopefully. Um, so, uh, and that's just a preliminary snapshot of some of the changes in 23. Um, again, it's early days for that because we've still got a lot of stuff coming in um, to the branch, even though it was just recently cut. There's going to be a lot of fixes between now and release. So just a few feature highlights. I don't have time to do an in-depth, but you will be hearing about some of these during other lightning talks um, today. So um, some of the big highlights of 23 are the new portal. There's a new Trinity portal uh, user interface that is very modern and updated. I think you're going to love it. There's Sakai Plus, which is a super exciting um, integration option where you can plug Sakai into your enterprise LMS as a tool-like um, component. There were a ton of rubrics improvements. I'm not going to go through by one by one, but know that there's a bunch of them <laughs> 
there's a work log now in the assignment where you can track the amount of time spent working on an assignment if you need to kind of um, have students estimate how much time they put into various assignments. Um, Open Search has replaced Elasticsearch in the search tool. And there's a new gradebook quick entry option that allows you to quickly fill in um, ungraded items and comments like all at, at one time. Um, so that's a nice new uh, quick entry option that's in the gradebook. Um, so hey, that well. is it for me. And <laughs> Good I, did I make my time? All right. I don't know Barely. if we have any time for <laughs> questions, but if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a, a, a lot more to learn about these things. And as Wilma said, there are going to be sessions about many of these coming up. So make sure you avail yourself of that. 